is left unfinished anymore. So I'm told. Well, I for one am glad to hear it. Thoughts are angry. Really? Cold, windy. Clouds never lie. Then here they're always angry, no? <laughs> Plenty of savages that need to show their appreciation. Sacrifice would go a long way. In Pescara one year, we sacrificed three goats at the end of winter. At the hottest summer the elders can remember. The wine that year. You won't remember that because of the wine. The gods know it. That's why they sent me here. <laughs> Ho! Take a moment here. I had a vision from the gods last night. Any day now, I'm going to be a father. You'll be there. It's easy to say. The further we travel... turning back soon. I wouldn't be so sure. Brother, we track four soldiers who set out with a message for the Pict King and his great army. He was meant to be camped here. The further we travel, the less convinced I become that this Pict army even exists. What do you mean? Four days on foot. And we haven't encountered a soul. Tell me you don't find that strange. No campfires, scouts, nothing. Well, perhaps Ema guided us safely through. Her job is to either find our missing men or the enemy that killed them, not lead us safely past both. In some ways, I'd feel safer with a dog ahead of us. At least you could be sure a dog is loyal. far have we come? We must be close. It feels strange being this far from the wall. I think so too. Since arriving in this land, I've 
I've not yet found my bearings. I mean, none of us know each other. We're, we're poorly equipped, no horses. Keep focused. This is the land of opportunity. A fine chance for you to make a good impression on Demetrius. The men we're searching for are dead. The two were of rank. There's no way that Gracchus and Nerva will be promoted any more than they already have been. I was with them on the boat on the way over. Neither have what it takes to make Centurion. Heed my words. Let us impress Demetrius. Rome has nothing to be concerned about. And we have news of the missing men. <sighs> nothing to see. There are four missing men. They could be anywhere. Soldiers of Rome don't just go missing. Especially when they carry a message from Rome to the King of the Pigs. We haven't even found any peasants, let alone this great mythical army. They're not looking for peasants. Oh, speak for yourself. With peasants come new young women. It's been four days. It's almost getting to a point that... I could teach you a thing or two. And she'd cut your balls off. with Demetrius. It's very unusual. The man of his standing forming a friendship with a former slave. I meant no offense, but it is unusual. No sign of this army. Seems the council were wrong. We should turn back, Demetrius. It's in your bed already. I would hate my report to your superiors to have to include mention of the reckless endangerment of your men, Demetrius. Every day we're away from the wall is another day we may suffer the same fate as those we seek obviously have. This could be looked upon unfavorably. Sounds like Augustus is missing his Roman spirit. <laughs> we will rest here. One more day, then we head home. This is as far as they could have got before they would have turned back. You can thank Augustus. He's struggling. Thank the gods. I'm so hungry. Everyone needs to eat. I have never known anyone eat as much as you. I am a Roman. Eat like Caesar, fight like Caesar. Sorry, what was that? Fetch like Caesar. Careful whose name you take in vain. We don't want the gods to curse us with snow. I'm talking of food. Vinicius, prepare the fire. Liviana, prepare the meat. And Nerva, spot of wine. You seem to relish giving orders. Only for wine. 
especially for wine. I'd like to scout on the head. Make sure it's safe. Thanks the monster's delight. You need to eat. You can take food with me. Very well. But not for long. Yes. The ridge up ahead. I've come there many times. They may have stopped there. I know it. And Ema? Thank you. Why do we not stay there tonight? If our men were taken captive, we would be wise not to follow in their footsteps. That is why we have a scout. Hey. Stay safe. You need to relax, brother. You confuse me. How so? I thought you said she's not to be trusted. We still have to look after each other. We work better as one. She's not been a scout long, I heard. They say she joined only three weeks ago. Sounds like you've taken more of an interest in her than me. Know your enemy. Hold on. Are we still talking about Ema? Or your wife now? I'm done, brother. When we get back, I'm requesting being moved to training camps. Are you sure? I don't want my son to grow up fatherless. I want to be there for him. Like my father was for me. If I were as skilled with a sword as you, I wouldn't be worried. It's not the fighting I fear. Out here. It's the unexpected. Trust in the gods. Trust in the gods. Let us appease Bacchus and more wine. Bacchus will be greatly pleased with me when I. Be ready, man. What's happening? Quiet. Augustus. Salvius. On me. Oh, <sighs> 
We need to get back. Is that it? It happened to my people once. To my mother. When I was a tribe, did it. It's young. My father turned wrong because of that. What is that? Oh, travel light, he said. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I won't be wearing that chain mail again. It's picked armor. It's rather good. I take whatever the gods are offering. <sighs> hey. Should anything happen to you? I've got my arm on your shield. to protect their warriors. Well, they didn't do a very good job, did he? You did not deserve this. You disappear and we get attacked. That's an unfortunate coincidence. I am Germanic, not Picts. You seem to know a lot about Picts for one who pretends not to be one. This man wasn't just killed. He was ripped to pieces. But how could anyone do this so quickly? There may have been more than one of them. Perhaps. But of what? It doesn't make any sense. There are footprints, but... Of what? <laughs> footprints of animals. Wolves. Men. You've made allies of the wolves now. You can't trust the wolves. You can't trust the pigs. Or a Germanic. Enough! Whatever it was that killed this man is obviously a danger to us all. You say there may be more than one. It couldn't have gone far, and it will surely leave a blood trail. 
I say we track it. The full moon is a good omen. The gods are happy with our slaughter of the savages. We should track this group of wolves and men. Perhaps they're a rival tribe. That is unlikely. She's covering for them again. If the Picts have wolves, they will be hunting us. The tracks suggest it. We are Romans. We do the hunting. Whatever it is, we need to see it. You must know what it is. Salvius. You and Augustus head back to Aurelius and Lucius. Keep the fire alive. There's a good soldier. Never hurts to know your place. Blades only. We need to move quickly. When we return, I could approach the council, have Nerva reprimanded. When you look at me, what do you see? I'm sorry, I don't understand. I think you do. Do you see someone who is free? A soldier? Or a slave? Just trying to help you. <laughs> Nerva may be a lot of things. And I'm sure at times, he still sees me as his slave. But when we draw swords, make no mistake, we are brothers at arms. Just offering you my assistance. I think we both know what you're trying to do. I take my orders from Demetrius. Try and curry favor with someone else. Don't look so upset. We took a beating today, but they still tasted metal. We'll get another chance to prove ourselves. And by Jupiter, <laughs> when that chance comes, we're going to seize it. What was it? When they feed the Christians to the lions in the Colosseum, sometimes they end up looking like that poor wretch back there. on two legs. What do you mean? Well, this animal, whatever it is, walks on its hind legs. How could you possibly know that? There's no overlapping prints. You ever seen anything like this before? Up there? It's too small. I wasn't asking you. She's right. Too small. Do you think it's what killed the old man? Well, look how deep the claw marks are. This thing, whatever it is, moves at speed. It's, um... What? Gracchus. Well, it's very similar to a man, but... <laughs> not. It doesn't make any sense. Ah! Ah! Move! Move! I told him not to shout. Shield. Perimeter. What's happening? Something attacked us. Sorry. No, it not much to the ground. 
What did you see? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You cried for help. It was so fast and, and horrible and just a blur. Where are the others? They chased after it. Oh! I think I hit it. We take this piece down for the glory of Rome. For our glory! It looked horrible. I don't understand. Why didn't it attack? It did. Fast and ferocious. They swung at it and Salvia stabbed at it and then it ran off. It knocked me onto my face. I dropped my sword, my shield. I barely managed to pull my Puccio free. I rolled, I stabbed, it screamed and it rushed away. Before I knew what was happening, we were alone. And he was screaming for help. Did you hurt it? I think so. It drew blood. Oh! We must pursue it. If it's bleeding, there's a good chance we'll be able to follow it. What about those men? They must make their way back here. We should help them. Their orders were to stay here. We fight together, as one. We stay together. And if this is a trap, we are not walking right into it. Aren't we already standing in it? Stoke the fire. But we... We follow his orders. all over this forest before we even realized what was happening. Demetrius is right. It could be savages, playing tricks on us, trying to get us to split up. Whatever attacked me was no mere trick. Pack of wolves will often try and make the weakest of a group split off so they may hunt it more easily. I want to go after those men as much as any of you. But Demetrius is right. We must stick together. Well, perhaps this was the fate of our missing men. Either killed by picks or ripped apart by their beasts. This is not how picks fight. I think You that... think? What? We all noticed how we got attacked when you left. So. What do you think, huh? Yuma was scouting. I know exactly where she went. And I'll hear no more on the matter. We stay here tonight. We stay awake. And we stay together. And I want an orb formation. This requires the orb formation? The orb is... I know its purpose. Daybreak will be here shortly. Gracchus. All right, orb formation on me. On me. I need your spear. Wrong place. Wrong time. The soldiers do not trust you right now. And you? You're alive. If I didn't, you wouldn't be. You may be sentencing me to death. Give me at least a you. I pray we are both wrong. And I shall return it to you in the morning. Krakus. Ready, sir. As soon as it gets light, we move out.
You really think there may be more than one? That would be my guess. Don't worry. Hunting is our speciality. Aurelius. Let's get back to the others. It's a wound. Nothing more. I scared it off. We can make it back. Come on. It's coming. Feels damn good to be in this formation now, doesn't it? Stay focused. May the gods be with those men. This reminds me of my first battle up here. When we fought the Pit King in the open. They ran and hid. They drew us into an ambush. The Picts were ferocious. Had we as many men as them, it would have still been a fight. But to be so outnumbered. Wave after wave came at us. Their painted faces snarling in the dark. They chopped us down one by one. But we battled. But as our soldiers fell to that barbaric army, I honestly thought I might not live to see another day. A legion came to our aid, but not without loss themselves. The thing that saved us was the old formation. <laughs> Back in it again, only a few weeks later. We'll drink to his honor. One in Rome, one in Rome, one in Rome. Demetrius, we shouldn't be laying here in wait. We should be out there, like the warriors we are, hunting this thing and helping those men. This somehow feels cowardly. I agree. We are Rome. We are Rome. And as Romans, we do as we're told. Exactly.
Strike harder! Strike harder! Where did you strike it to draw blood? I don't know. I just flashed out. Whatever it is, it's too quick! Not for me! Aim for the neck and under the arms. Always soft spots. Three dead. One dead. Two missing. Three dead. A little bit of snow. And that thing is still out there. The gods are watching. Whatever that thing is, I swear I will kill it. You and I both, brother. Why did it do that? Why did it leave him there? It can move faster without him. We all gave chasers one and it must have taken flight. Even rabid animals rarely look for a fight. What does it want with us then? What beast is struck but doesn't bleed? Not a drop. What now? We've seen enough. We have to head back to the wall. We're not leaving him here. Not like this. He deserves better. He's dead. There's nothing more we can do for him now. All the others... What would you know? We have to burn or bury him. The gods demand it. This is ludicrous. We don't have time to bury anyone. We need to... I'll stay and do it on my own if I have to. Not on your own. Demetrius? Liviana is right. But... It would not be wise to anger the gods right now. I will not allow you to look for the others. But you may bury your friend. We must make for open land soon, away from the forest. That thing may still be around. Nerva. Savius. On watch. There was more than one, I swear it. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. But I swear to you, when I find whatever it was that did this, I'm going to carve your name into its chest.
Goodbye, my friend. Until we meet again. May Mercury guard you safely. May Minas Radamantis Naikas judge you fairly. You never expected to find this, did you? What's on your mind? You came with me in a heartbeat. And are you doing the same for me? Not a difficult choice. That's why I regret asking you. Demetrius. You know something. What is it? Come with me. We were sent to find our men. The four messengers sent to talk to the Pit King. A message was sent to offer help because we had received word of a sickness amongst our men. A sickness? This is not information for common soldiers. They are not common soldiers. They are my soldiers. Rome offered a peace with the king knowing that whatever sickness had taken hold would leave them weak. Makes sense. Why not let them suffer then simply destroy them? That's not the Roman way. We offer peace first, war second. Join us or fall. If the sickness was bad, we risked infecting our own. So you all volunteered to find out how bad the sickness really was. And why our men hadn't returned. They could have fled. Antonius led the group. He is like a brother to me, a perfect soldier. I can assure you, had the council not asked me, I would have volunteered to look for him. When we were ambushed, Ema had gone to where I thought they may have camped. I found nothing but this dream. And blood. It belongs to Antonius. Lots of heads. That's Roman. That means they're dead. Which means we're in the middle of a trap. We've been taken for fools. There is no sickness. That was obviously a ploy designed to bring us out. Perhaps. Perhaps these beasts are the sickness. I have heard of such things happening to By men. By Venus, you'll be telling me they grow wings next. They are the teeth of a trap laid by the picked king. To draw the legion into open battle again. Kings rarely use traps. Kings rarely live in fields surrounded by sheep shit. In my experience, they surround themselves with far fouler smelling things such as yourself. So our men have died in vain. Lucius and Aurelius may still be out there. Venetius was the greatest fighter here. If he couldn't survive... What you said earlier, Liviana, that we may be surrounded, could be true. We are either in the middle of a trap laid by a king, or in the middle of some kind of sickness that's making beasts become men, or... She was the way around. We need to move out. We must get word to the wall immediately. And what do we tell them? What we have seen, that the sickness is real, that there is no peace to be made with the pig. Finally, some sense from you. Let's move out! This is fucking freezing! I saw something in those trees. Uh, probably nothing. Just on edge. Stay on edge. It's a good way to be. I have a hunch. Those things will attack us again, probably at night. 
just a hunch. It's your intentions. Do you mean my intentions? We are three days' march to the wall. It's my intention to get us there as quickly as possible. You're talking of the beasts. We must keep moving. Stay as far away from them as possible. And even if we make it, what then? The Ninth Legion will come up here and deal with them. I think we have another option open to us. Which is? We capture one. What? We use the six as our own weapon. These beasts, men, whatever they are. Think of the benefits. Benefits? If we can train them to fight for us, or even unleash them on our enemy, as they have done here, we would have power beyond measure. Fight fire with fire. Are you insane? I'm probably the only one thinking clearly here. That thing took us all off, and we barely survived. It's a gold mine. It's a mighty weapon from the gods to destroy the pits once and for all. Look behind me. What do you see? We lost three men yesterday. We are not enough match for them. Not like this. Not today. We march for the coast and down to the wall. Would not have been quicker to go straight south. Too treacherous. At least with the river, we have one less side to worry about. Your idea? Good. Is it bad? No. You're getting smoked. Ah. are angry. Take a moment here. This is what you expected, Grocus. What? When you got the order to come to Britannia. <sighs> that I remember like it was yesterday. I just got back from the Germanic Wars. I was expecting a promotion and a station in Rome for a while. As I walked along, everyone came up congratulating me. It's true, one after another. And then he approaches me and he asks... What's everyone doing? And I say, congratulating you. For what? And I couldn't help myself, so I just roar it. Britannia, brother! Britannia! We are being stationed in Britannia. I thought I was being promoted. And then he said, If being promoted is being pissed on by the gods each day and being sent to the only place in the entire Roman Empire without their own wine, then yes, you have been promoted. 
I was so angry. By all, Chris, I said. I don't believe you. But if you are right, I'll grow a beard. And here we are. place to live? Who would live here? Someone who can stand on their own two feet. And not be deserted. Well, there's only one way to find out. Who's there? He's blind. Blind? But not deaf, young master. We could have this sickness. Not sick, neither. Just blind. We mean you no harm. But we could do with something to eat. A moment's rest on a long journey. You smell funny. You are Romans. Ah, the smell of shit. Easy, old man. Come. Eat with me. I don't have much, but would gladly share. If it's death or taxes, I choose taxes. I shall wait out here. Men? What makes you think that? Romans are always in groups of ten, are they not? And you would know about that? Perhaps. We were ambushed. He knows something. I do. You carry with you what they need to defeat the sickness that plagues these lands. What do you mean? Uh, I can only tell you what whispering scouts tell an old man in return for some bread and shelter. I am sorry. For your friend. He was a good soldier. So were the others. Did you know them well? They only came up here last week. You should wash, also. The old man is right. <laughs> they probably do stink. You should eat. I will. I don't blame you for not trusting me. It's beautiful here, isn't it? Beauty can be deceptive. This land is our enemy. At the last full moon, a young man who has attacked was being nursed back to health. Then he began to fit. He started to change. Change how? Do something! I don't know what else to do! He became like the beast. This is quite the story. You said you know how to kill it. Only what I've heard. Please, continue. Farmer's son changed and attacked the workers on the farm. One of whom had a Roman dagger, a Peugeot, he had found some weeks before. He thrust it into it. Where did he strike? His chest? I swear I hit one in the chest. What happened to your back? My brother. 
scumped cases. I have a sister too. He used to get into all sorts of trouble. Do you ever see your brother? Did I do? not there you strike it. It's this what? Pleasure. It's laced with silver. <laughs> I think he's lying. What reason would I have for that? Because this smells like a trap. Luring us here, keeping us talking. Gracchus, calm yourself. I say we kill him now. You probably have not worked out that the moon being at its fullest gives them their greatest power. You probably have not worked out. You're doomed. I'll show you who's doomed, old man. Why are we sat here listening to an old man ramble? Enough. And for your words, wisdom and food, we thank the gods. We have a beast to kill. What are you doing? I smell it. What? Hope dies like a vineyard in the frost. The mere scratch enough to plague a man's heart. This evil comes from Germania, from the Black Forest. A curse on the son of a Roman who killed a baby wolf and shouldn't have. There is an evil that lurks in the Black Forest. It lurks there still. It took my eyes. It made me listen as the world screams. What are you talking about? Curses. Black Forest. This old man says he talks with picks. Perhaps his story is the crap, forcing us to fight with daggers. I'm sure you're used to a much smaller sword. <laughs> what was your private word about, Gracchus? Just more ramblings from the old man. Should have killed him. His existence is sure with punishment enough. Death would be a salvation. An existence is grounded in darkness. Surprising words from a slave. Former slave. About a subject I can relate to, more than a man who thinks salvation is nothing more than a pouch of wine at the end of his night. I think she's getting us confused. <laughs> Spare me your pity. Bless you. I was trying to help you. What could you possibly do to help me? Let's be honest about this, shall we? I don't belong here. I don't belong with these people. And I certainly don't belong with you. Then why did you choose to be here? I didn't choose. The council chose for me. I voiced my reservations, which fell on deaf ears. If I'd have known the situation we find ourselves in... What is it? Steve. Are you insane? It's probably nothing. They have to make sure. Call the others. And attract more attention. But what if it's the beast? My screams will let everyone know it is coming. Oh, and this is insane! What are you doing? Waiting for Ema. She said she saw something in those trees. Sir! And you let her go in there? Alone? She told me to. What kind of a man are you? What's wrong? Ema said she saw something in those trees and went to have a look. If she disappears, we'd best be prepared to get attacked. 
Cracker. Is that wound still bothering you? It's fine. It's just a wound. Nothing to worry about. We need to move out. We need to stay together. The things may be out there. It's about time we rid ourselves of her. What do you think about using our Pugio instead of our swords, like the blind man said? When I plunge my sword into one of these things, and it doesn't die, then I'll use my Pugio, and not before. I think we should use the Pugio. It worked for me before. If you say so, then I shall. These things move so fast, they'll be on us before we have a chance to even change our minds, let alone our weapons. We should keep moving. What about Ema? She shouldn't have gone alone. May the gods watch over her. Sword! Quick march! Move! Move! Nova and Greco spring up the rear! said they can be killed. So if these things want to fight, we'll give them one. Smartest thing I've heard all day. Night is coming. You've got a better idea. You're free to go if you want. Salvia, surely you must... Agree with the others? Yes. Stay close. Stay together. If they come, we fight. We should run now. Run for our lives and not look back. Oh! Emma, she's close. The whole forest will have heard her. He's right. We have to do oh, something. No. Demetrius, it could be using her as bait. And since when did we ever see her fight? This is a trap. We need a decision. Samanus wants us violence approaches. We continue for the war.
The war. You're not going anywhere. Run! We need to go. Run! Go! No. Make me. Make me. Get out of my way, brother. You don't want to do this. them as you must. I'll bide you as much time as I can. Brother. You were always the better soldier. And you the better man. <coughs> When we find ourselves in Elysium, the one with the fewest kills pours the wine. <laughs> Eminent death, thinking of wine. <sighs> We're gonna need a good drink after this. <sighs>
The wolves are away. It's because they want us to turn. Kill me, brother. It's the only way. Kill me. What we can do now is make our way to the wall. The wall is our only chance. We, make it. we can! Demetrius, the wall is at least a day away. We have no chance of making it. When night falls, those things are going to be even more powerful. We need to face them now, together. Salvia is right. Neptune has blessed us. We can follow the river all the way to the wall. Go. Gracchus said two were tracking us. Two are dead. Eva! The sun is almost set. More will come soon. Your wounds, Demetrius. Huh? You did well. 
Who are you? I'm Ethne of the Atacosi tribe. Are you fighting with these creatures? You do not fight with wolves or beast men. They cannot be trusted. Much like Romans. Then why must I earn your trust? May this be the start. And you must kill me before I turn. No. you. Can you make it to the wall? They must be prepared. Let all know how to kill the beasts. I think it's time. I went to Elysium. Give me a clean death, Liliana. A soldier's death. Make it to the walls. I will guide them safely. For Rome. For an end to this curse. 